Hi everybody, my name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and I am on a mission to acquaint myself with 52 accents by April 17th, 2016. We go to number 45 in the series, Hawaiian. Uh, the whole purpose of this video series is uh, I narrate audiobooks, and I get characters from all over the place who make cameos uh, in the books I'm reading or in the auditions I'm doing. The goal is to uh, provide an accent that is consistent and is a quite a bit more informed than if I were just taking a, a blind shot at it. Um, I'm going to be going over five things that I'm noticing about the Hawaiian accent, and uh, make note that I'm talking about the accent here and not a dialect or language. Um, but five things I'm noticing about the Hawaiian accent, and then we're going to apply those things to song lyrics. Uh, but first... And before we go into highlight number one of what I'm learning, um, you should all know that basically this week it's been a reverse engineering job. I've been listening to these uh, TED Talks from Hawaii and uh, putting together between all the different people that have been speaking what sound like some common principles. If you disagree, please put specifics in the comments below. That's very, very helpful as I'm continuing to practice and improve. Um, highlight number one is uh, the resonance, and this is the mattoon. This is me, I normally wear glasses, and uh, what I'm finding as I'm producing uh, the sound in, in this accent is that the sides of my cheeks, or basically my cheeks, are slightly tensed and the sound is coming out the front. So if we have the song lyrics, the well it done run dry, and you notice if I'm exaggerating standard American, my mouth goes really wide, it comes closer to the well it done run dry. Highlight number two, in the same vein of the uh, sound being tensed in the cheeks but going out through the front of the mouth, what I'm finding is that the O sound, the long O, which I'm representing with a capital O here, um, goes really far forward so that it's almost like an ooh, but, but not quite. So think ooh, say O oh, is what I say to myself. So instead of woke up, it becomes something closer to woke up. Highlight number three, the L is, uh, I'm hearing very, very articulate L's uh, all over the words. Um, so uh, silver lining, you notice how uh, silver is almost silent, um, and lining, I'm not really exaggerating that L too much, uh, becomes something closer to silver lining. Number four, I'm sometimes hearing um, a T in a word with really, really hard emphasis, uh, hard enunciation at the end of the word, um, and I, I think it's usually for a word that's being emphasized. Generally, I'm finding that the Ds and Ts are quite articulate with the Hawaiian accent, accent. but uh, in particular, I've heard the T really uh, nailed on some words. So I'm going to try it, uh, for example, in the lyrics, if you want to see the forest, it becomes closer to if you want want to see the forest. Number five, the R. Um, I'm finding that it's got a very good hard R sound to it. Not that necessarily hard R's are good, but it's, it's, it's got a strong R uh, sound. So, um, four-leaf clover uh, becomes four-leaf clover. Okay, it is time to hit the studio and apply these principles and a few more to the lyrics of Casey Musgrave's Silver Lining. Woke up on the wrong side of rock bottom. You're fresh out of pennies and the well it done run dry. You'd light them up and smoke them if you had them, but you just ain't got them. Around here, we're always looking for bluer sky. But if you ever want to find a silver lining, it's got to be a cloudy day. And if you ever want to fill your bottle up with lightning, you're going to have to stand in the rain. Lemonade keeps turning into lemons and you wear your heart on a torn, unraveled sleeve. You've been run through the ringer and pushed to your limit. You say you're unlucky, but luck ain't what you need. Because if you're ever going to find a four-leaf clover, you've got to get some dirt on your hands. And if you want to find a head to fit your shoulder, you're going to have to go to the dance. And if you want a pot of honey, you can't be scared of the bees. And if you want to see the forest, you're going to have to look past the trees.
The lyrics to Silver Lining are by Casey Musgraves, and the music was provided by Kevin McLeod, uh, Charge Free, and Public Domain. Uh, everybody comment below what could be done to improve the accent, give me some specifics, uh, and also, uh, in these last couple of videos, is there an accent that you absolutely must hear and a song that you must hear uh, at some point? I, I can't guarantee that the song will go with the accent, but we'll see. Um, stay tuned, everybody, for number 46, New Hampshire, and rock on.